Jojo and Gran Gran on the BBC iPlayer app right now. Finished. Yes. <laughs> stomp, stomp, stomp. We need to find the treasure before the volcano erupts, Hugo. Uh, our volcano is like Great Grand Grand's in St Lucia. Dormant. I wish it could erupt like the volcano in my book. Hmm. I think it's time for another Grand Grand plan. I just need to collect some things from in here. Hmm. Washing up liquid, water, vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. Those things don't look like lava. Ha <laughs> ha! When I mix these ingredients together, you're going to see something very surprising. <laughs> Let's take our volcano outside. <laughs> this might get messy. There we are. That's it. <laughs> Wait for it. It's going to erupt again. <laughs> like the volcano in my book. <gasps> wow. Speedy Rocket ready! Three, two, one! Hold on tight, Panda! Blast off! Blast off! Wow! It's <laughs> very bumpy, Panda! We're entering space! Look at the sparkling stars, Panda. It's very dark in space, Gran Gran. Is it time to land on the moon yet? Not yet, Jojo. The moon is really far away, remember? It takes a long time to get there. We've been in space for a long time now, Gran Gran. How much longer till we reach the moon? Ooh. Uh... I still think it's a lot of sleeps, Jojo. Whoa! OK. Oh! Sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up. And we're here. We made it. Woohoo! Before we land, we need to get into our landing craft. <laughs> Let's land on the moon! I can see it! The moon! <laughs> one small step for Panda! One giant leap for Jojo! <laughs> Hooray! Congratulations, you two! This old newspaper will help the rose to dry out. Now, to press the flower, we need to close your Captain Chloe book and then stack the heavy books on top. Finished. Is it ready now, Gran Gran? Oh, it takes a while for a pressed flower to dry out. How long is a while? Panda is very excited to see a pressed flower. <laughs> it depends. But I think it could be about the time it takes for these roses to wilt. So that's how we'll know when it's time to check the pressed flower. We just have to wait, Panda.
the roses have wilted, Gran Gran. They look very droopy. Well, they were beautiful while they lasted, Jojo. And this means it's time to check on our pressed flower. Can I open it? Ah. Uh -huh. The pressed flower's amazing, Gran Gran. <laughs> If we follow this plan, we'll build a den that's big enough for all of us. Finished! How wonderful! Hmm. But, Gran Gran, our den doesn't have a front door or windows. Hmm. Oh, no! <laughs> Panda thinks we need to build a new den, Gran Gran. So we'll need to follow a new plan. We've got a den big enough for all of us. And it's got a door. And windows. <laughs> <sighs> this is the best den ever. Lolly sticks and lolly moulds. Shall we get started? Yes! Lolly's Gran Gran. They're all swishy. Ah, that's because they still need to change from liquid to solid. And we do that by freezing them. The freezer will make the lollies really cold. By the morning, they'll be frozen just in time to take to the community garden. <laughs> Lolly's frozen, Gran Gran. Let's have a look. <gasps> we did it! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jojo and Gran Gran's puppet show! It's called The Lion Who Lost His Roar. Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Once upon a time, there was a lion who lost his roar. So the lion decided to ask his friends. Elephant, I'm looking for my roar. Have you seen it? Your roar? Oh, no. I'm sorry, lion. Elephants only go... <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Gran Gran. Crocodile, have you seen my roar? 
Your roar? Oh, no. I'm sorry, lion. Crocodiles only go snap, snap, snap. Jojo and Grand Grand must have done a lot of practicing. Shush, Jared. I want to hear what happens next. Sorry, great Grand Grand. Finally, the lion asked his friend, Dinosaur. Dinosaur? I've lost my roar. Have you seen it? Your roar? Of course. I'm a dinosaur. Try doing this. Chin up, chest out, then roar. Chin up, chest out, roar. I did it. I found my roar. Thank you, dinosaur. And the lion never lost his roar again. Fabulous. We could use things from the recycling pile to build a bug hotel. What do you think, Cynthia? Oh, I think that's a fantastic idea, Gran Gran. I've always wanted to build a bug hotel. What's a bug hotel? Well, a bug hotel is a safe place for insects and other garden creatures to visit and stay. We've got everything we need to get started. Old bricks. Broken flower pots. Wooden pallets. And pandas found some tiles for the roof. different insects to visit the bug hotel, we need to fill the rooms with different materials. I know that ladybirds like straw. Bees like nooks and crannies. Aha! Oh, that bamboo will do nicely, Gran Gran. And beetles like dry leaves. I know where we can find dry leaves. Tap, tap, slide. Tap, 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 slide. Tap, 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 slide. Got it! <laughs> tap, 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 slide. Yes! Now, the last move. The turn. I'll be ready to show Great Grandgun our dance moves for a long time. Let's try the turn again. Whoa! Hmm. Ah, I think it's time for a Grand Grand plan. We can show Great Grand Grand the moves we've learned, and then we can use your move for the rest. My move? The wiggly wave. <laughs> And now, please give a warm round of applause for oh, oh. Jojo and Gran Gran. Dancing the Moolah La. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> With a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo and Grand Grand, they have so much fun together. Don't forget, you can watch more Jojo and Grand Grand on BBC iPlayer. 
Ask your grown-up to download the BBC iPlayer app, where you can explore more of your favourite CBB shows.